Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chloe Taylor and today we are doing my must have mods of 2020. Now I'm gonna be going over and sharing links down below to all of the mods that I talk about today if you want them for your game. These are all ga all mods that I actually do use probably on a daily basis in my game for the most part. Uh, I find them all to be extremely useful. I'm gonna demo some for you in game. Some of them are in create a sim. That's why we're starting here. And if you want to know how to install mods there will be more information down below as well because I've done a video on how to install mods on both Mac and PC so both those links will be down below but if you want to know a little bit more about my mods keep on watching with me so before we dive in today I do want to give today's shout out to Moonlight Edits XOXO and they said roses are red violets are blue coffee is amazing and so are you so thank you so much Moonlight Edits I really appreciate you for leaving that lovely poem for me happy belated Valentine's Day if you guys want to be the next shout out, please make sure to leave some love and positivity down below. Or you can also just spam some coffee and sparkly emotes to be a part of the coffee bean family because that is us. So any of that down below and you could be the future shout out in another video. All right, guys, you may not remember these Sims, but uh, I have three Sims here that I've kind of redressed them, but I've used them many times like a couple years ago in stuff that I would do for Cass. And I think this Sim was actually part of a current household that I had at one point it was a good time but today i want to go over a couple of cast things for you guys or create a sim things these are amazing mods i get asked about them all the time so the first one is how do you get five columns in your game instead of three this is actually a mod and it is called the more columns mod i will have the person who made it listed down below because the name is escaping me i'm so sorry as well as a link to their mod and basically you just plop it into your game and it gives you five columns. I think they also have four columns as well. Um, I want to say regular game is like two or three columns. I've been using the more columns mod for so long that I don't even remember how many columns the base game has. Is it just two? Because I can't live without this mod. This is a mod that I use literally all the time. It makes the game so much like better and easier and faster. And I'm just into this. This is a great mod to have. It literally does it with every single category, I'm pretty sure. So even if I go into like makeup and such, like all of it, literally you get this huge list of columns instead of just the normal I want to say it's two so love that mod the next mod I want to talk about is one that I haven't used or shown you guys in my game yet but I will be showing it to you and that is the 100 baby mod I believe this one is by Kawaii Stacy and I'm pretty sure it's under family yes it is so basically this is a life aspiration for your sim and there is the 100 baby challenge aspiration so your objective for the challenge is to give birth to a hundred children. So I'm actually going to be using this in my 100 baby challenge, but I just recently got it. So I'm really excited about this. It basically gives you, um, it gives you like a counter and different things to aspire towards if you're doing the 100 baby challenge and you get like aspiration points and such. So it's a really great one. Um, basically, you just have that enabled and it gives you the domestic Sims thingamajig. So we love that. We stand. We're into that. Um, the next one that I have for you guys is just my cast background. As you can tell, this is not the traditional blue and green background. Right now, I have a lavender one on. In the past, you guys have seen me with ones that look like a cityscape. I've used darker colors. I've used lighter colors. I've used white as a background before. I've been loving lavender lately because I am manifesting an early spring as it is the dead of winter where I live right now and it's cold. So I really wanted to go with this lavender color. Uh, I don't use an in-game recolor currently for any of my footage, but I use my own like editing software and in my edits, I do touch up the footage. So this might not even look as lavender in this video as it is in person but I believe this background comes from Catverse which I will leave down below. Catverse is an amazing creator who does poses, cast backgrounds like she is truly phenomenal, talented, and gifted so please do check them out down below. 
Um, and I will leave my specific cast background there as well. So basically it just replaces the regular background in game with something different uh, based on whichever kind of background you're looking for. There are so many out there to choose from and Catverse has a ton. So there is that. Um, another one that I have to show you guys, this one's kind of interesting. We're gonna go ahead and play with genetics really quick. And we're just going to make a little toddler. We're gonna make the parents of these two Sims. And let's go ahead and make a girl just just because because I'm me and I'm into that. Um, OK, so she's a little cutie. This is kind of weird. And a lot of people have asked me about it in terms of photographs. Uh, let's actually let's change her up a little bit because I think we're going to take her into game with us as well. So I want to just give her a look if you know what I'm saying. Um, those brows are a little crazy, but I'm not like mad about it. <laughs> um, but Basically, it's more for picture taking purposes than anything, which like I said, I will show you in a moment what I mean by that. Um, not into that skin. Maybe this one. Okay, those brows are way too much, honey. We need to take those off. Okay, that's a little bit better. They're a little crazy, but I'm not mad about it. Um, so basically, I'm also gonna put a pacifier in because why the heck not? Oh my gosh, transformation. Did you guys see how that just freaking happened right before your eyes? Um, but this one's a little wonky. So some people are gonna love this and be like, oh my God, that has been the secret the whole time. Some of you guys are gonna be like, this is so dumb, I will never use this. But um, if you go into, is it skin detail? No, no, no. So you zoom out, you click on the body. Then you go to body again right here and see these little presets that come up with bodies and skin tone. Basically what this is, is this is a slider to make your toddlers bigger or smaller. So basically she can be itty bitty. She can be like a lot bigger. She could be this size or this size. And so basically what this does is if you're taking pictures for your game, which I do all the time, um, I will pop a picture up right now on the screen where I've used this before. And we'll also talk about that when we go into in-game about like player pose and stuff. But um, if you have a toddler as being a little bit smaller, some poses require that. So you might need the short or the small size for the toddler. And like I said, some people will never, ever, ever use this because they don't take pictures of their game or take thumbnails and just don't need it. But for people that do thumbnails that kind of want your thumbnail to be a little more eye grabbing, this is like super important to have. And I believe this is by like Redheaded Sims or it's uh, by, yeah, Redhead Sims, which again, I'll link that down below for you guys and they're just toddler sliders in in create a sim that make your toddlers bigger and smaller so um we're gonna go ahead and put the small one on because i think that's the one i need for the in-game pose that i'm gonna be showing to you guys in a little bit so you can also like change their clothes when they're like this too and it just it's it's just great like I don't know. I just, I'm into it. You know, you feel me? I'm into it. So doing cast is a little bit difficult when they're like this, but it's a mood and you know, we're into it. So it's a mood. We're into it. We love it for game for gaming purposes when we're making artistic things. So that is what I have for you guys. As far as cast, we're going to go ahead and load up a game and I will show you some in game mods that I absolutely cannot right, live friends without. were in game. So I just wanted to show you the toddler really quick. Look how tiny this toddler is. Like she looks like the size of an infant walking around. Like I said, doesn't really make sense unless you're taking pictures because it also doesn't like if your toddler goes to do something like play with a pot or a pan, the pot is like the size of this kid's body and it makes it really weird. So I wouldn't recommend using this to like play with. It literally is just for photographs. But before we get into anything else, the first mod I want to talk about is, well, first and foremost, this gorgeous house that I absolutely did not create. Um, this is just a house that I'm using for the purpose of this video. I will show it to you guys really quick. This is from Kairi's, I think is how you say it. It's the Blue Moon No CC Lot. Thank you so much. I just wanted something really pretty to plop down so I could show you guys some stuff. I am gonna hit play just so my Sims will go off and do some stuff and we'll have another mod to demo there with that. 
But first and foremost, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about MC Command Center. Now, I have very specific needs for MC Command Center, so I'm going to go over some of those things. So first and foremost, MC Command Center is just brilliant because it allows you so much control over your game. The number one thing I want to show you is see how right now it's raining? I can click on the mailbox, go to MC Command Center, go to Seasons Cheats. I can change the season to, currently it is summer, so I'm not gonna do that. But you know, you could change the season, which is amazing. And you can also go to, let's say Seasons Cheats, um, change the weather. We can change the weather to sunny and cool. You can say, it says, enter the number of sim hours the selected weather will occur. Basically, I can say, I want it to be sunny and cool for 12 hours. So basically this will clear up the rain and see it's already going away. The sun is coming out. It's getting so much better almost immediately. So there's one thing. Another thing you can do with this, and this is only one part of MC Command Center. There is so much to unpack with MC Command Center. I could do a whole video on MC Command Center because there is so much stuff you can do with this. You can also change the world time, which I won't do because I don't want to like mess up my game right now. Like it doesn't mess up your game, but sometimes it can make things a little weird depending. Like I try not to use it unless I absolutely have to but basically you can offset the days of your game so I could be like oh I want it to be four days from now because I don't want to wait for something to happen in game you can come right here say you want it to be four days in the future put four days or you can leave it at zero if you don't want the days to change you can also offset the hours maybe it's eight o'clock in the morning in game and you want it to be two hours later, you would just put a two there and it would go two hours into the future. So basically that's what that does. I love it. It's perfect. Freaking great cheats. The other thing I love using MC Command Center for kind of goes hand in hand with posing your characters or your Sims in game. What is she doing? Okay. Oh, babies. What is you doing? So Basically, if you click on a sim, I can click on this sim that I have here, Autumn Branch, and it says MC Command Center right here. We're going to click on that. And like I said, there are so many things you can do in here, but the first thing I want to show you is MC Dresser. So I can click on this right here, MC Dresser. I can go to change outfit and let's say I want to put her in her sleepwear, right? Click on that, close the box. Now she's in her sleepwear and nothing had to change. What I love about this specifically, it really goes hand in hand when you're trying to pose your Sims, which I'm gonna demo that for you right now. And then we'll get back into MC Command Center. So let's say you wanna pose your Sim. First, you're gonna go into build mode and you do need Andrew's player pose for this. You also need, there's like a statue that goes along with this and you're gonna search teleport and it's this sim teleporter destination. So I'm gonna pick up that. I'm gonna plop one of these down. Actually, I'm gonna plop two of them down so I can show you what's up. So we'll hit play. We'll click on one of these really quick. We'll say teleport a sim here. We're gonna bring Autumn Branch here and then we'll teleport another sim here. We'll also bring Catherine Grace, which is what I named the toddler. And then you click on them and you would install poses as well, which I have a lot of poses, which you'll see that I've gotten. And I will leave a website where I get all of my poses from down below. It's Lana CC Finds. It is the most organized. It is amazing. Um, you're gonna click on it, pose by pack. And I wanna say I have some, I hope I still have them. They were like, is it time flies? I think it's this one. So let's say we're gonna put mom one, this would be her pose. And then we close that and then we would go down to the toddler. We would say pose by pack. We would go to that same set that's in here, time flies. And we would say, you're gonna be the baby on the right, baby A, which like basically the different poses, depending on who created them, they often will give you guides. Oh no, I messed this up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so normally this would look amazing, 
but I chose the wrong size for the toddler. So she's itty bitty, 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 bitty. She needs to actually be the short, not the tiny. So that's another thing. If you mess up on the slider, you can just go back into create a sim and change it. But the other thing I wanted to show you with posing the Sims is if you go to MC command center while they're in a pose, say you want to do a bunch of different outfits, you can go straight to MC dresser, change outfit, put her back in her every day, and there it is. You didn't have to do anything. She's still in the pose. The kid is still in a weird lobby pose that they're not supposed to be in. Um, and there you have it. It's perfect, right? So that's something I really love using MC Command Center for. If you're somebody who takes a lot of pictures, like that's real, like you need this mod. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and they're just posing. So I'm gonna exit out of those poses. And there you have that. So that was MC Command Center and Player Pose. There's two mods there. Another thing with MC Command Center is if I come over here and I come to this lovely sim, let's actually put the walls down. There we go. I'm gonna click on her. Okay, I'm gonna tell her to stop first because it's not letting me. Okay, I'm gonna click on her and I'm gonna go to MC Command Center. I'm gonna say MC Pregnancy. And I'm gonna say Pregnancy Start. And for some reason, never mind, I can't do that. Hold on. <laughs> I guess they have to meet really quick. So let her, I'm going to come over here and say, no, 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 no. I'm going to come over here and tell her to come say hi to him. Just so we, like, you have to know the Sims in order to get pregnant by them. Like, you can't just get pregnant with, like, no um, counterpart sim. Okay. So now I can click on her. Now that they've met, go to MC command center, MC pregnancy, pregnancy start. <gasps> wait, select a sim to be the seed sim for the pregnancy Cancel to make the target sim. Also the seed sim. Wait, 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 wait. Why didn't that work? It should have worked. Um, ask about day. That should have worked. Oops. Okay. Let me try again. MC pregnancy, MC pregnancy start. That's weird. Maybe I have to click on him. Hold on. MC command center, MC pregnancy. Nope. Maybe they have to have a relationship. My bad. I'm being ridiculous. I feel like I'm telling you guys wrong. I'm sorry. Yep. I am. Okay. So for some reason, they might have to have a better relationship, but here's something else you can do with MC Command Center is I can click on MC Command Center. I can go to relationships. I can go to add a relationship. So choose a sim to add a relationship with Carly Calhoun. I'm going to pick Jace Preston and this is now going to be her husband. So right away, look what that did. So now if I go to MC Command Center, MC pregnancy, pregnancy start, it gives me the option for Jace Preston to be the dad. And I can say, I want to have uh, zero male babies, one female, I can say, okay. And basically it gives me all these options for pregnancy. And so now it says we're, we have one child. We are in our first trimester with one female. I can go to pregnancy phase and I can say in labor right now. And basically what that does is that pushes the pregnancy immediately to labor. So I love that if you're trying to like do story progression and you don't want to wait all that time to have a baby, like you can do that really fast with MC Command Center. So those are like the bulk things I use with MC Command Center. I know that was really like long winded. There was a lot of explanation there. Um, but that leads us into the next... Um, am I able to just tell her to have the baby? I don't think so. Can I do that? Let's see. More choices. Nope. Okay. So we're just going to fast forward this really quick until she gives birth. Okay. So she is currently having the baby now and we're just going to randomize the name. Briley. That's cute, I guess. Okay. So she just had the baby. And if you see, there's no bassinet here. I did a whole overview of this mod and I will link that video for you guys down below. So you can see like how to install it, what it does, the different kinds of cribs. But basically the coolest thing about this is what was that noise? That was weird. It made like a crazy, okay, whatever. Um, basically what this does, if I go into build mode, 
and I go straight for the cribs as soon as it allows us to. Crib, I search crib. I have all these custom cribs, which this is also in my other video if you guys want custom cribs. I can plop any of these down. So let's go downstairs. Let's just put it here. We have this crib right here. And, oh, I don't think I can, I don't know if I can grab. <gasps> she has to not be holding the baby, hold on. <laughs> she has to not be holding this kid in order for me to do it. Okay, there we go. So then I can grab the baby. So basically it's like the baby is in like an invisible bassinet. I can go downstairs while my game is freaking out. Um, and I can turn this little kid and basically put her in a custom bassinet. So we don't have that bassinet. There are so many different custom cribs you can, oh, excuse me. There's so many different custom cribs you can get for this. It's fantastic. I will leave the link down below for my other video as well as just the crib mod if that's what you guys are looking for. I think it's fantastic. And um, another mod I wanna show to you guys. Let's go ahead and go over here to Autumn Branch and take a look at it. Oh my gosh, are they flirting? Is he feeling? flirty you are a married man who just had a baby how dare you it's fine um but if we come over here we click on autumn we go to slice of life there is so much realism to this mod oh my gosh like first and foremost we have body care we can go to the hospital we can get stumpy flu which i don't even know what that means we can buy medicine we can get an anti-period pill which keeps our menstrual cycle away for 30 days um we can go shopping which i think is really cool you can just order custom outfits um, you can also order wigs for other sims which is amazing um you can go to skincare your sims can get acne when they're especially close to their menstrual cycle you can get the acne free cheat you can do treatments for your skin um you can go to pills there's the wonderland pill which i'm pretty sure is like it's like drop an X. I'm not going to lie about it. I'm pretty sure I've never done it, but I'm pretty sure it makes your sim a little crazy. Like I almost want to try it just to see what happens. Let's do it. Let's take the wonderland pill. I've never seen this, so I don't know what it's going to do. Okay. It says she's dazed. Also it's she's getting, it says almost time. It's almost time for autumn to have her period. The cycle will come every 12 sim days and last for two days. When your sim reaches the age elder, they should no longer be able to get their cycle. So they also get their periods. Basically she's just dazed. So she's just kind of drugged up right now and doesn't know what she's doing. What is she doing though? Yeah, it just says Autumn has taken a trippy pill and that's going to last for eight hours. Hmm. I wonder if that's all it does. Like if she stopped talking to Jace, I wonder if it would do anything else. Also, another thing to note, because of the slice of life mod, if you look at Jace's cheeks, because he's feeling flirty, he's blushing. <laughs> so that's another thing that slice of life does. Um, if you go to the phone, there's other options too. There's apps um, you can do. I don't think this is in like the normal, but like there's just other different apps. There's social media stuff in here. Oh my gosh, with social media, she can post a drunk selfie. Let's do it girl is a mess and she just posted a drunk selfie how many of us have been guilty of that i am just saying um because she took the wonderland pill oh you can also remove wonderland apparently that's something i didn't even know you could do um so going back to slice of life there's also the inbox so like you can also like look at all these cool options um and it's very integrated with the game which i think is very cool so there's so many options with slice of life. Um, even if you go over to my other Sim who is playing this game, are you broken? No. Okay. You were just jumping. Um, she has different moodlets. She has welcoming a life. Carly will always remember the birth of her child. Is this real? Carly will remember the breathtaking moment. And this is from a memory system that is in slice of life. Um, clean hands. Like we just get different moodlets. There's also a loving life. Despite everything, the Sim still loves her life. So like they just have so many different moodlets. Um, what is this one? Analyzing Sim. This is a chance where your Sim will get a new personality trait once this moodlet expires what 
it. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's so cool. So this this is with like the Myers-Briggs personality. I don't think this is in The Sims. I think this is part of Slice of Life. So like, if you guys didn't know, I'm an INFJ personality type. Um, <laughs> so it gives you like part of the Myers-Briggs, which is very cool. Um, so Slice of Life just does like so much. And now I have one last mod I wanna show to you guys. And this one, I think, if you guys have stuck with me this long, <laughs> you will be the most happy to hear about this one, okay? Because so many people have come to me asking me about this problem in their game and I have found the workaround. So um, basically, if any of you guys haven't noticed, if you go, if you press Control Shift C, which brings up this little dialogue box in your game and you type, testing cheats true this is such a simple mod but it i love it i will never get rid of it basically you can add different buff cheats to your game you can make your sim like more playful you can make them sad you can make them happy you can make them flirty and it's just like a way to cheat the emotion system for some reason this broke in the game a lot of people don't have access to it anymore and i don't know if it like came with a patch update that the devs removed it but twisted mexi actually came out with a mod that fixes all of this so even if you're like doing pregnancy cheats which i know a lot of people like to use because you don't have to use mods even though you would have to use this mod it's a very simple mod and it won't like it's not something that's going to super disrupt or like mess up your game if you use it it's like a very small mod um basically it restores your game to being able to use these cheats so let's go ahead and click on jace and we can say sims.add um underscore buff um i'm trying to think underscore buff and let's say confident high so this should give him high confidence there we go look what that just did so like like i said this is something that was broken in the game that this mod just fixes so i feel like this works fantastically especially if you want to like force labor on a sim if you want to like speed up a pregnancy but you don't want to have mc command center in your game if you want to change their mood because you're doing like story progression and you need your sim to have a certain emotion um, this is really helpful it just gives you all of the old like cheats that are in the game back so these are all of my must have mods you guys i hope this was helpful for you like this is something that i've been wanting to do for quite some time and honestly I'm really happy that I've now done it because I feel like these are like mods that like you know everybody's like oh look at all these cool mods I have in my game but then like half of them they don't use these are all mods that I genuinely use so literally almost every time I play the game I'm using them so I will link everything down below for you guys thank you so very much for watching let me know what other mod related videos you want to see I'm wanting to get more into testing more mods with you guys and trying different things out so let me know if there's any mods don't just spam wicked whims, please. I am, am considering doing an overview, but it's gonna be hard because you have to blur a lot of things out so YouTube doesn't flag your videos. And it's a really highly inappropriate video, and I know that it will be. So um, aside from wicked whims or the hoe it up mod, let me know if there's any other mods you guys want me to look at like specifically, do like individualized mods. If I talked about any of these mods and you want more of an overview on just that mod, but I hope this helps you guys out. I hope you'll use some of these mods and uh, I will catch you guys in a future video. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, links down below, as well as Twitch where I stream on Sunday nights and also my podcast available everywhere you listen to podcasts. I love it so much. I do it with my in real life twin flame. We co-host, we talk about shifting the perspective, depth psychology, zodiac, astrology, tarot, everything. And it's like having a cup of tea with two of your best friends. It's great. So so uh, links down below for everything and I will catch you guys in a future video. This is Coffee signing off. Bye you guys.